Inside of every living cell is something we call DNA. The letters DNA stand for dioxyribonucleic acid. DNA contains information that is the cause for all the different structures in all living cells all over the world. Why do peach trees grow peaches? Because the DNA of a peach tree contains information that it uses to grow peaches. The DNA in the apple tree cells is different than the DNA in peach tree cells, so apple trees grow apples. Why do some people have blonde hair and others have brown? Why are some people short and others tall? Why do some people have lighter skin and others have darker skin? People have unique DNA code that is responsible for all of their physical traits. Builders use a set of drawings called blueprints to build houses. The blueprints tell the builders where the pipes and the doors and the windows and the outlets are supposed to go. In fact, you know, without a set of good instructions, it wouldn't even be possible to build complicated houses or buildings. Did you know that your body is more complicated than any house? And did you know that there is a set of blueprints in each one of your cells that tells your body how to grow? Those blueprints are contained in your DNA. Architects draw house blueprints, but who drew the blueprints for your body? The Bible book Hebrews in chapter 3 verse 4 says, For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. As we look at that DNA, we see that it has a double helix structure. That means it has two strands that link together, and they look much like a spiral staircase. This structure is perfect as it looks like that spiral staircase for packing lots of information in a very small space. Every cell in your body contains a strand of DNA, and each strand is about six feet long. How does a six-foot-long strand of DNA fit inside each one of your tiny cells? Well, God designed DNA to be able to coil and fold into a tiny space. Imagine an electrical cord that is 100 feet long. Then think about looping that electrical cord so that it curls up in a roll about the size of a trash can lid. Then imagine that you have several of those looped cords stacked on top of each other. Well, that gives you an idea of how DNA coils. DNA is a molecule, and the backbone of the molecule is made of a sugar phosphate. The little things that look like stairs are called base pairs. The base pairs store information in a coded language. They're combinations of four compounds, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Adenine always connects to thymine, and cytosine always connects to guanine. A strand of human DNA contains about 3 billion base pairs. You may know that the study of DNA is called genetics. It's named after a DNA feature known as a gene. A gene is a group of base pairs that contain instructions to make one basic trait. It can be compared to a word. The base pairs can be compared to letters that make up the word. A gene can be made up of a thousand base pairs, all the way up to two million base pairs. Just like some words are small, such as it, and other words are long, like pachycephalosaurus, DNA can actually code information like words. And that information is a language. Did you know that researchers have learned how to store information like words and sentences in strands of DNA? They're using DNA like a thumb drive that can collect words and pictures. Some scientists believe that all pictures and words and every bit of data in the whole world can be stored in an amount of DNA that would fit in one tablespoon. Brilliant researchers, they've spent years trying to figure out how to make data storage devices smaller and smaller. Doesn't it just make sense? that God's data storage device is the best one that anybody's ever seen? You see, DNA can also replicate itself, making an exact copy, and that's how every single one of the cells in your body has the same DNA. The human body contains more than 30 trillion cells. If you could take the DNA out of each one of your cells and stretch it out 
and connect them in a chain, it would stretch more than 10 billion miles. That means it could go to the sun and back about 60 times. DNA is complex. It's brilliantly designed. It's the best storage device in the world, and there is no way it could have evolved over millions of years of random chance accidental processes. Imagine trying to get instructions for a working, walking, talking robot by taking billions of letters and throwing them all in a pile and randomly pulling them out. That's just not possible. You would need a very smart person to carefully write out complicated instructions to create and design a robot. In the same way, the language of DNA, it couldn't ever come about naturally through random natural processes. Only an all-knowing, intelligent God could design something as complex and amazing as DNA. In Psalm 139, verse 14, King David said to God, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows right well. DNA is one of the most amazing, one of the most marvelous works of all of God's creation.